Every time I'm creating content, I get a simple question most of the time. How can I start learning web design? And it's, it's an interesting question if you ask me because um, I think the whole thing about web design has really not been discussed properly. Because you see, so many guys think that if, if, if like you want to know how to create websites, if, if you check the contextual process, is you have to learn HTML, JavaScript, you go have, you have to learn, you know, frameworks and all, the, all those things, front end, back end. And I remember when I was trying to start how to create, when I was trying to learn how to create websites, I used to wonder, is there a simpler thing that you can do apart from have to code, 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 and code? And that is when I came across WordPress. Now, WordPress is a content management system that actually powers over 45% of the websites that we have on the internet today. I personally use WordPress in all my websites. And if you want to start learning web design, I think my first place to start would be to learn how to use WordPress. And yes, in as much as you're learning how to use WordPress, I also think it's important for you to have some graphic design backbone. At least understand how to use graphic design software like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, even something as simple as Canva. Now, most web designers will start creating websites until it gets to a point where you're told by a client to probably manipulate an image and you're shocked because you don't know how to do it. So that's where you need some graphic design knowledge. At least get some understanding on the use of graphic design software. Because even generally, a graphic designer is expected to create a website. So that's the thing. First, understand how to use graphic design software. Then at least understand how to use WordPress. Now, WordPress itself is a content management system like all the others that exist. We have Wix, we have Webflow. And for someone who's probably never heard of content management systems, content management systems are just a very simple way for, for you creating a website without learning how to code. So understand how to use WordPress. So let me break it down on how WordPress works. WordPress works with themes and plugins. You install a theme in your domain and plugins add extra functionality. For example, if you want to have contact forms, that is where people can actually come and submit details about what they're looking for, you will use a plugin. And at that point, you're talking about plugins like Forminator, WP Forms. You're looking at plugins like uh, Contact Form 7. If you want to do email marketing, I believe MailChimp has a plugin for that. So plugins and themes control majority of the functionality that you have in your website. And WordPress alone can do so many kinds of websites. You can create learning management systems with it. For me, if you check out my courses website, that is courses.lvsw.online, I have purely created that using WordPress. Because you, all you need is a plugin that allows for learning management. A plugin like Tutor LMS, Landash. And then you probably need to understand how to work with themes like Cadence or Astra. If you are able to understand how to use especially themes and plugins, uh, it's going to be so easy for you when it comes to creating websites. Also something to understand is at least know how to use AI. And I would say learn how to use a very simple tool like ChatGPT. Because you can be able to use ChatGPT to generate copies of websites. Like you're starting a web design project and you don't know where to start. I think the first place you can actually go ahead and try and start that project is on ChatGPT. Just input the prompt. Like for example, tell ChatGPT what you want to create. And it's going to probably help you in coming up or even help you in mapping up an entire website. So I think when it comes to web design, especially in 2025, it's also good for you to understand how to use very simple plugins, very simple AI tools like ChatGPT or DeepSeek. So that's a general introduction on what I think you can actually do if you want to learn web design. Also know how to communicate properly, especially when you come to a point of dealing with clients, because your communication skills will dictate whether you can actually retain clients or you keep losing them. And also have at least a personal brand. Have a LinkedIn profile, an Instagram profile, Facebook page, TikTok. Choose any of the platforms that you feel comfortable using. And these are the platforms that you actually get to use for you to get your clients. So if you want to start out in web design, I don't think it's really mandatory for you to have to start with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the rest. Yes, have some foundational knowledge. A lot of that can be done using AI tools today. So I don't think you should really be worrying about that. And then stop trying to look at technicality. Try and look at functionality. Because so many guys want to do web design, web development. But what you want to do is you want to sound technical. You want to get into a room and say that you have an understanding of all these stacks. 
you can be able to create this, this is your GitHub. At the end of the day, clients don't care about that. Clients care about the solution that you get to provide to them. And it's not about how technical you are when it comes to you providing your service. It's in how simple you can be. A client can come to you and tell you, I need you to create a blog. Now, most web developers, so-called web developers, I think most of them have like a 15 to 30% completion, project completion rate. Because most developers are so hyped up about getting started in a project. But as they move on, it becomes, you know, there are a lot of these things they need to fix and it, it becomes boring. But if you think about something like WordPress, a client comes your way and tells you, prepare a blog for me. All you need to probably do is get a good thing like Cadence or Astra, right? Set up like the header, set up the menu, set up the footer, set up how the blog is actually going to appear. Use a page builder like Elementor and you'll actually get started. It's not about the technical part of it. It's about the functionality side of it. So that's just a very simple introduction. I believe that this can actually open your mind when it comes to you learning how to use, to create websites using WordPress. Take advantage of videos. There's a guy called Fadi. F-E-R-D-Y. He really creates good videos when it comes to educating people on WordPress. I really learned a lot from him. So I also think you can check him out. And remember, you learn how to do web design by creating websites. You don't learn by just thinking theoretically on how websites are created. So yeah, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching this video and uh, be sure to follow. Thank you.